right, so you can see there the router sitting beside the modem. And it doesn't have a whole lot in terms of uh, bright lights, but it's blocked by the antenna from the old router. But uh, you can also turn that off if you decide you'd like. And then here is the analytics tool software, which I'll show you in a moment. card included, registration information and such, gives you some of the settings, and then you have some other documentation deals with uh, warranty and such. And then they have this little card about if you need any help have different information available that way. That's pretty cool. And then you have your setup guide. So I don't have a really good way. Unfortunately, I can't show you much better than this um, because of the distance. I'm zoomed out as much as I can, really. But you have this. Uh, dashboard that gives you some of the basics and then over here on the left that's what it looks like and then if you click more settings you can go through and adjust all the different aspects so it's actually very very simple in terms of setup it gets going doesn't take but a few moments um, you've got USB storage options QoS is available quality of service is available um, of course you have uh, website blocking access which is nice if you want to filter out different things uh, in terms of the network you have some network settings where you can actually do bridge mode if you need to uh, you can adjust settings for the local network you can see here some of the different services and things that can be enabled and disabled um, it's just a very easy to configure, very easy to navigate and change settings with this. Um, you have, as you can see here, enable denial of service. You have your DMZ, demailer for I zone. You have port forwarding and port filtering. I mean, everything you would expect basically from a router the quality of signal is basically the same as as best I can tell for me because of the space that I'm in um, it works just fine even as well as the 1750 AC 1750 router that I also have um, so I mean I don't have any kind of issues I can stream music just like I did before and I don't have any kind of loss or break up um, there is this little app right here that's included with this that's free you have different things you have um, Wi-Fi scanner channel interference you can actually see which of the 10 channels is the strongest you have a channel graft your signal strength or signal graph and your signal meter so a little sonar type thing going on here so I mean overall it's a very easy 
very simple to set up and very fast um, little router here. I have no complaints, no problems, and no issues thus far. I said setup was very, very simple, so pretty much anyone should be able to set this up very easily. It does have a web-based wizard that it walks you through. Um, you end up at the dashboard here. So when you're finished, this is what you'll be looking at. And it just takes a, a matter of a few minutes to get uh, connected with this. So if you're looking for something, you know, to get online, give you some pretty good coverage. Now, there are different levels of coverage available, obviously. And if we look at the box here, you see on the bottom it says great, extreme, and ultimate. This is in the middle. So there are better, uh, more capable options. The MU, MIMO, or multi-user MIMO, uh, basically, I don't know a whole, whole lot about that, but the idea behind that is instead of um, data being sent, I guess you say a single amount of data being sent, multiple amounts of data can simultaneously be sent, therefore giving you the best possible uh, speed when multiple users are connected. So that's pretty cool um, in terms of features and abilities. And you do have USB 3.0 on your USB port so when you go to share um, files and such your communications with the connected USB device should be quite quick and I may end up adding something um, I may actually put a hard drive on there I'm not really sure but all the information on how to access that is also provided um, I said the, the documentation on this router is really really good and it's very simple very easy so I mean it's an overall very nice option I think that a majority of people will be very pleased with it and find it very easy to work with and probably not very intimidating at all so that's pretty much all I have to say about it um, so you do have a, a lot of different options available for more advanced users or if you just want the basics um, it's all you have to deal with there is a setup wizard and that will walk you through so you couldn't ask for a much easier router uh, I can go into the other room and I still get the same amount of signal and quality that I was getting uh, nearly let's say 70 80 feet uh, of distance a couple different walls so I don't know how other people's um, layout and look will be, but with for me, that's pretty much what I'm dealing with. In terms of walls, there are about four walls, maybe, uh, to really deal with. It's kind of close to um, an open door, so and it's sitting up a little bit high on top of the desk. So it seems to be able to put the signal all the way to the uh, other end of the place which works um, yeah so overall uh, very pleased very impressed with the uh, ranging coverage and uh, no real complaints or any problems that I've noticed uh, set up like I said couldn't be more easy um, that's probably the biggest thing because there's a, a, a lot of people that have issues getting connected and this is probably one of the simpler uh, setups in terms of routers with the with the way it uh, with the way it works and getting it going. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks.